What's up everyone? Happy National Suit Up Day. I hope by the time you're done watching this video, you not only can play Gobi's Valley, which is the most badass, brutal song in all of Banjo-Kazooie, but you can do it in a suit and swoon your ladies with your gentleman-like style. Before we start, I'd like to make a shout out to JoshyKM7. He posted my channel up on a forum that I've never heard of, but uh, a lot of people have, and he reeled me in a lot of viewers and subscribers, so uh, thank you, Joshy. So I was kind of at a loss this time as to which, uh, which song I should do a tutorial for, since I didn't get many requests. A user by the name of I'm a Stony Krusty Dude, I think it was? Whatever floats your boat. Um, he said I should do uh, Gobi's Valley. This is one of my favorite songs from the uh, medley because uh, it's in my favorite scale. The Frigid Dominant Scale. Roll the intro. So for this one, we're back to my favorite tuning, which is drop C. And, uh, I mean, all of the riffs in this song are, you know, they're pretty easy, and a lot of them are, like, really, really cool to play. The other good thing about this one is, uh, the lead line doesn't have to be played by two people, I just do it for, you know, clarity. A lot of the harmonies are, um, are just octaves. This time around I'm going to show you rhythm first, and then I'm going to show you the leads after, because the rhythm is really easy, and you'll see why. So when playing the rhythm guitar, you know, you only have to know a few things. The beginning, which is like this. sit on that for a while, you just try it on the low. Um, later it's just... It's pretty self-explanatory. And um, then later you get your... That's all you need to know for the rhythm. So the first lead line, um, this is, I play this entirely, there's no cuts or anything, um, goes like this. The tricky part about that is the, uh, it can be kind of difficult for some people to get that clean, so, um, I suggest not barring it, I suggest using your pinky. Use your pinky. If you haven't been using your pinky much, oh my god, use your pinky. Please, do yourself a favor. Anyways. So when the second guitar comes in, this is what I play. pretty much doing an octave harmony with the uh, other lead guitar most of the time. Uh, I mean, the only part I, I'd like to talk about is um, the, uh, vibratos, the vibrato part when you're... 
honestly, the wider the vibrato, the cooler it sounds, and I mean, it's more fun to play when you're just, just rocking out on it, so have fun with that one. Now when the third guitar kicks in, you're just playing an octave over the other one, so let's just... I mean, you know, the leads aren't too hard, but, you know, they're a lot of fun to play, so uh, I hope you have fun with it. So another YouTuber asked me if uh, I would do some uh, bass tutorials, so um, this will be the first video that I show how to do stuff on the bass. Now, be mindful, I've been only playing bass for two months. Um, like, legit, pretty much, GoldenEye was the first time that I ever, like, really picked up the bass and, you know, wanted to play it for something, so, um, uh, you're probably a lot better than me, so, just putting that out there. So, the only time that the bass doesn't play what the rhythm is playing is, uh, the very beginning, so I'll show the intro, and then that part. I mean, that's just about it. Um, you know, you get your oompas in there. The... I wanted to capture that as much as I could because uh, it's kind of trademark of Banjo-Kazooie. Well, I mean, as far as uh, Nintendo 64 game music goes. And that's about it. So, um, thank you guys for appreciating that, uh, you know, I don't have any tabs for this when I make it. So, when I make these tutorial videos, I have to make the entire tab for you guys and the backing track and the PDF and all that stuff. All my new viewers are like, oh my god, give me some tabs. Do you have tabs, totes? Give me some tabs. But I don't have any tabs because I do this all by ear. So, um, again, I appreciate, you know, you guys' patience for waiting until I hit these milestones so I can make these. Honestly, this time 400 subscriptions kind of snuck up on me. So, um, when I hit 500, I'm going to be doing something a little bit differently. It's not going to be a tutorial, but uh, I think you guys will still enjoy it. But now I gotta get back to my big important adult life, so uh, I'll see you guys later.